Great. So I am going to be introducing the last um, innovation for the day. Um, Desmond Tao is the is a youth leader at the um, project Kukuma, and uh, he's going to be telling us a bit about his project. Where is Desmond? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Your peripheral vision, <laughs> Victor, <laughs> is lacking. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, good evening. Uh, looks like they were expecting someone to laugh, but then I'm short. So, <laughs> uh, so I'll just shift on the side so that I can, you guys can see me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> my name is Desmond Dao. I'm from South Africa. Uh, I'm, I'm working under uh, SHM Foundation, and uh, I'm a mentor, a, a, a youth mentor, under a project called Kuluma. Uh, before I can say much about Kuluma, I just wanted to add on something that they said on the panel table that uh, when it comes to men not talking out loud. Because, uh, sorry. Okay. Uh, I come from a country where they say men don't cry. So it's, 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 it's a, a, a proverb that they use when they say in Zulu, they say in Dotaikali, which simply say men don't cry. So it, it, it's better to, cry, to, to die inside while you have a problem that's been bothering for, for a very long time. So what, what they are basically saying is that it's okay for you to, to, to keep quiet and die inside, even though that's not the point, because most of our brothers are dying inside and most of them are committing suicides, which is something that's been uh, a very, 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 uh, very deep to us, because uh, I think when it comes to my case, I think I lost uh, three friends due to suicide, which pains me a lot because they, they don't really know how to talk uh, to, to others about their problem, or because in what I call men don't cry. But then uh, I'm, I'm just here to talk about Kuluma, so I'll be talking about uh, the project I'm from and my lived experience. Uh, I'm a 24 year old who has been with, uh, with, uh, Kuluma, with the Kuluma project from 2013 when it first started in South Africa. And since I joined Kuluma, there's been a lot of change in my life because I'm, first of all, I'm HIV positive. And when you're positive, that's when they say mm, the community neglects you and they isolate you. That's when uh, you are not allowed to greet people uh, by shaking their hands. You are not supposed to eat at the family dinner table. And that's been uh, very challenging for some of us because uh, even when you go to school, that's when they say uh, in that last, uh, because you are HIV positive, just sit this side. You are not allowed to sweet with others because you are going to infect them in, in, in I don't know, maybe wirelessly, who knows. But then, <laughs> but then and it's, it's, it's something that causes uh, trauma to someone. And the stigma is way too high to a point where, <clears throat> to a point whereby most of the people don't even have the, the courage to, to speak up. So uh, Kuluma is basically a, a platform where we, which is specially designed for adolescents who are living with HIV and AIDS. And it is a free space for them to easily talk about their problems because there are some things they can't even talk about with their family and with their friends because sometimes uh, stigma starts at home. That's where you, uh, half of your family members don't want you to visit them, play with their kids, or even eat with them. So uh, I've been with the project for the past six years. And for me, it was, it was an amazing journey because I got to learn the, the, the importance of support. The, I got to learn the importance of ha having someone to talk to all the time. Because what we do is that uh, we, have a, we, we, we have groups that run for three months, and they, they run through a, an app called Rocket Chat. So on that Rocket Chat, uh, that's where you get to talk to your peer mentors, people who are at, at your age and who are also HIV positive, who will understand half the things you are saying. Because right now I can talk to someone who I've recently just met who isn't even HIV positive. What are you going to tell me? I drink medication and you don't drink medication. What do you know? So if you have someone who you can easily relate to and someone you would uh, easily talk to about your problems, it becomes very much easy and you, you, that's, wh that's when you will get to uh, easily uh, open up and easily get solutions to your problems. So basically, Kuluma has been uh, a peace of mind and a home for some of us because that's where I, I, I was a person who didn't even have friends at first. And uh, today, I'm, I, I'm proud to say I even got a, a best friend from the project. 
someone who I call my brother right now. And I know even if uh, I'm feeling sad or feeling a bit confused about something or even maybe witnessing, uh, maybe seeing some changes on my body, that's when I, will, I know that I should, okay, I will just go in the group and say, guys, uh, I have this and this and I need help. And they'll, they'll, I know it, within a matter of uh, five minutes, someone will call and just to check on me and uh, on how I'm doing. So without uh, talking for a very long time, I'd really like to say to you guys, uh, change starts with uh, the younger generation. Give us the tool. Give us the, the more information on how to, how to lead. It, it's okay, you can, we can sit like this and explain to, to, to everyone, to each and every one of us that uh, mental health matters. But then what, if you, you were to give a, a younger person the tool to teach someone, I think the world would be a better place. Because if you teach me uh, how to deal with mental health, I will teach some, um, my little brother. And my little brother will teach uh, his children and his children. So it's, it's something that will be going for a very, very long time. Unlike telling it to someone who is older and probably would die in the next five years and die with the information. <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, as, as, as we were discussing in the group, I, I also said, it's best to give the information to someone who's younger and let them lead. So by so saying, I would like to say thank you and thank you for inviting me.